Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it's Sunday, so it's time for another Tinker Hunt. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, so real quickly, if you've never seen a Tinker Hunt, what I've done is I've created the village of Tinkerville. Inside these, I've got Blanky, a rocket, the jack-o'-lantern, the celebrating kid. I'm going to tell you that now he has HLMT on his chest, just like this one has Get Kraken, and also has a unicorn dude. Now, I've shrunk these all down to a tiny size, and I've hidden them in Tinkerville. Your job is to zoom in, navigate, track them down, and then if you'd like to be the winner for the week, you post your solution to where they're hidden in the comments below. Now, if you can't do comments on YouTube, you can also comment in my class in the Google Classroom. If that doesn't work for you, you can also visit hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad where you can learn a lot of amazing things about Tinkercad. And of course, here you can also use the sweet built-in messaging tool to fill in your answers and submit it to me almost instantly. If you have never used Tinkercad before, let me show you how easy this can be. When you move down to Tinker Hunts, this is the first video explaining the first Tinker Hunt, and these are links to each of the Tinker Hunts. When you click on one of these, say we want to do number three, it takes you to a public version of this project. When you hit copy and Tinker, it'll let you in. If you've never been in Tinkercad before, just simply click sign in and choose sign in with Google. You will see that I have notes. This was, of course, like we said, Tinker Hunt 3. And I explained the five creations are hidden. If you can find them, add a comment in the video. Of course, you can describe the houses by their colors or by their house numbers or the specific room they're in. This is again the reminder that the link was in the description of the video. And then these are the items we're finding. Blanky, the rocket, the unicorn dude, the celebrating kid, and the jack-o'-lantern. And then lastly, I mentioned that we had imposters, and I thanked the student that hit them. Now, this week, we did not have a student item. This week, I hid the characters, but next week, we'll go back to having a student hide them as well. My favorite way for trying to find things is to click on a object and hit the letter F, which is fit view, and then you can right click with your mouse and orbit you can also use the view cube to orbit when you're done you can just hit home to back out you can also click on objects and you can hide them with this little button right here if you want to bring them back you just bring everything back with the show button now this is your copy so you can play with this as much as you want you are not wrecking my original it'll always be there if you click the link and go back to it again friends don't forget if you solve this correctly i will give you a shout out in next week's video in my classroom i saw will and i also saw tavian solve this correctly well done fellas i do want to let you know that i've hidden a couple little easter eggs out there if you find the easter eggs or something you think might be a little bit funny make sure you add that in the comments below i also want to remind you that last week nobody answered tinker hunt 4 on the youtube channel if you guys want to fill that out i will still give you a shout out next week finally friends i hope you're having a ton of fun with this while you also learn how to navigate the tinkercad interface more easily friends don't forget these come out every sunday and if you enjoyed the video please give me a like if you got a question comment or suggestion Question, add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day